Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. So let's get into this dry, crackly hair versus this nicely moisturized, detangled hair. If your hair is anything like mine, then you've noticed that over time, sometimes your hair just needs a little pick-me-up. Now, one thing that I've learned throughout this healthy hair, natural hair journey is that sticking to a regimen that works for you is very important. So when it comes to my regimen, the one thing that I make sure I do weekly is deep condition. And every couple months, I also make sure that I do protein treatments. Protein treatments are great for strengthening the hair, restoring damage, restoring natural moisture, and reducing breakage. So as you can see here, my hair is just really dry. I have a lot of product buildup. I've been doing a couple different styles. I've just been doing way too much. So sometimes your hair just needs to be cleansed and replenished. So we're about to get into this protein treatment. So first things first, before applying any type of protein treatment, you want to make sure your hair is freshly washed. I use Pantene Pro-V because it's been a cleanser that I've used since high school. It has never failed me. It doesn't strip my hair and it leaves my hair completely soft. So make sure you wash your hair thoroughly so that the treatment can get deep into those strands. Now after I wash my hair, I separate it into four sections and then I apply the Apogee two-step protein treatment. You want to make sure that you cover your shirt or wear something you don't care about when you apply this product. It's very liquidy so it will drip everywhere and because it doesn't have the greatest smell that's just not something you want sticking on your clothes. I also like to leave my hair a little damp after I shampoo it just because it kind of helps the product glide on your strands better than it would if your hair was you know somewhat dry. So make sure that your hair is left slightly damp and focus on those ends because you want the product to go from root to the ends. So typically I would have detangled my hair before I washed it or right after I washed it, but I'm on a time limit, so I didn't quite do that. What I did was detangled as I went, which is why I also made sure my hair was still wet because it was easier for me to comb through it. I wouldn't recommend combing it. I'm just very gentle with my hair when I comb, so I was able to detangle it without pulling any strands out, but you'll start to notice once the product dries, it gets very, very stiff. So the stiffer it is, the stickier it is, and then the more your hair starts to come out. So my hair was wet enough for me to detangle without any strands coming out, but I don't recommend that. And now I'll follow the same steps and apply the treatment to the rest of my hair. So now that every section of my hair is coated with protein, you want to make sure that you put it under some heat. I don't have a hooded dryer. Actually, I do, but I don't feel like getting it out. So what I'll do is use a blow dryer. I set it on a medium heat and you want to blow away from your scalp and away from your shirt. Once the product starts to dry, it'll become very sticky and it'll stick to anything that it touches and rip completely off. So don't even play with that. Set your timer to 15 minutes and just allow it to sit. I don't know what's in this stuff and it'll make your hair feel like a helmet, but don't touch it. I'm telling you, it'll fall off like a dry tree branch. Leave it alone. Keep your hands out of it. After your 15 minutes is up, you want to make sure that you rinse your hair out completely and get rid of all the protein treatment. Now this is always the part where I'm like, why does my hair feel so weird? It'll feel weird, but it's normal. It'll feel weird until you apply this balancing moisturizer. Personally, I don't care for the moisturizer, but it works well with the protein treatment. So for me, because I don't like it that much, I then go back in with another deep conditioner of my choice and I apply it on top of that. And that is where I get most of my moisture from.
as I'm applying conditioner as much as I can, I'll detangle with my fingers. I usually have a wet brush, but I cannot find it. So that's why I'm even using a freaking comb. But like I said, you do not have to use this method. You can detangle with your fingers or whatever your detangling method is, but this works for me. The objective is just to make sure that your ends are not kinky and knotted up. So as I was saying, Bioflage is not necessarily a deep conditioner, but I use it as a deep conditioner and it is my holy grail. It also has keratin and its own form of protein in it, so I like to just double it up. I don't want to overdo my hair with protein, but it all just works. I don't know. I've tested out a lot of different products after doing a protein treatment and this conditioner works best and it adds like the perfect balance of moisture for me. Don't forget that undercut. That undercut needs some love too. I tell y'all every time, if you have an undercut, make sure you treat it as good as you treat the rest of your hair because you want it to grow out. I mean, unless you're just okay with not having sides. <laughs> I need my sides. So yeah, condition it is. As with any conditioner, I like for mine to sit for a good 30 to 45 minutes. And because I already used a blow dryer on my hair, I don't want to apply any additional heat. So I just used a plastic cap and let it sit. And this is my ending results. Compared to how it looked and felt in the beginning before doing the protein treatment, my hair is way more softer, moisturized, and feels stronger than it did. It needed a little pick-me-up and that protein treatment was perfect for it. Now please hear me when I say it's not just about what you put on your hair, but it's also about what you put inside your body. Please make sure that you are also eating nutrients and proteins and treating your body well because a product won't do any type of change if you don't change what's going on inside first so as always i hope you like this video if you have any questions comments leave them below and as always stay trendless peace out